Hi church, it is Holy Tuesday. My name is Aaron Bauer. I'm the student director here at Traverse. And I wanted to read to you about Holy Tuesday. This was the day that the temple leaders challenged Jesus by putting him to the test. Literally, they raised a number of theological debates with him and questioned both his teaching and his God-given authority. In Luke 20, verse 1 through 19, this is what it says. One day as Jesus was teaching the people and preaching the good news in the temple, the leading priests, the teachers of religious law, and the elders came up to him, to Jesus. They demanded, by what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you the right? Let me ask you a question, Jesus replied. Did John's authority to baptize come from heaven or was it merely human? They talked it over among themselves. If we say it was from heaven, he will ask why we didn't believe John. But if we say it was merely human... The people will stone us because they are convinced John was a prophet. So they finally replied that they didn't know. And Jesus responded, then I won't tell you by what authority I do these things. Now Jesus turned to the people again and told them this story. A man planted a vineyard, leased it to tenant farmers, and moved to another country to live for several years. At the time of the grape harvest, he sent one of his servants to collect his share of the crop. But the farmers attacked the servant, beat him up, and sent him back empty-handed. So the owner sent another servant, but they also insulted him, beat him up, and sent him away empty-handed. A third man was sent, and they wounded him and chased him away. What will I do? The owner asked himself. I know, I will send my cherished son. Surely they will respect him. But when the tenant farmers saw his son, they said to each other, Here comes the heir to this estate. Let's kill him and get the estate for ourselves. So they dragged him out of the vineyard and murdered him. What do you suppose the owner of the vineyard will do to them? Jesus asked. I'll tell you, he will come and kill those farmers and lease the vineyard to others. How terrible that such a thing should ever happen, his listeners protested. Jesus looked at them and said, then what does this scripture mean? The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. Everyone who stumbles over that stone will be broken to pieces and it will crush anyone it falls on. The teachers of religious law and the leading priests wanted to arrest Jesus immediately because they realized he was telling the story against them. They were the wicked farmers, but they were afraid of the people's reaction.